The FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour is in full swing as the planet's best players battle it out for glory. It's tour stop number nine for the women as the Black Sea Russia welcomes the players. Up next is the gold medal match right here in Sochi. Hello and welcome, Clayton Lucas with you for the women's final from the Sport in Heart here in Sochi. Battling for top spot today are Switzerland's Joanna Heydrich and Nadine Zumka, seeded four, and they're taking on the number six seeds, Elsa Bacurizo and Liliana Fernandez from Spain. Both teams made it through to the final with hard fought victories. weather conditions today the sun's beginning to drop down now past uh, the uh, grandstand so the uh, venue is uh, got hardly any sun on it but it and it was also got a little bit cooler as well actually so the floodlights are coming on taken as well as a few other refreshments no doubt so that was the uh, way it was the two semi-finals that have uh, ended up with this final between Spain and Switzerland Switzerland uh, beat Germany's Katrine Holtwick and Ilka Semler 22-20-25-23 Spain who got past Italy in a, a thrilling match as well and they won that one 21-19 21-19 so the teams have had their warm-up and they'll be waiting to be introduced Before we meet the uh, players, we will meet the referee in charge of this one today. So the first official today is from Russia, Irina Garzieva. And she will be ably assisted by Italy's very own David Crescentini. So a warm round of applause for the referees and a warm round of applause expected for the players as well. Spain will come out first. So out comes uh, Liliana Fernandez, 29 from Alicante. She's had three silver medals, never a gold. This is surely now her chance along with her playing partner. Elsa Bacurizo, who is from Tenerife, they have $333,000 each in prize money. Is today going to be their day, or will it be Switzerland? As Nadine Zumka comes out onto court, the 31-year-old from Bern, who's got three gold medals on tour and $341,000 in prize money. Her playing partner, the 24-year-old Joanna Heydrich, at six foot three, one meter ninety, is a force to be reckoned with at the net. She had her first ever gold medal in Xiamen last year and $148,000 in prize money. And if history is to go by, Spain have the better record. They played each other four times and they have won three of those four encounters. However, 
it was Switzerland who won last time out in Rio in the Grand Slam when they beat them 21-16-12, 21-15-8 21, in the decider. That was then, this is now. Switzerland in red serving, Spain in yellow receiving. This is the gold medal match on the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour here in Sochi. And Zumka is on to that one. And it could be a first chance and first point for Switzerland from serve. Great start for them. Nerve settled already for Switzerland. They need to settle fast here for Spain. It's a good swing, but a great dig. And it's 2-0 already, Switzerland. again good reach by Heidrich oh, but still though Spain can't get a side out three nothing going right for Switzerland at the moment. This could be 4 nothing. Oh, great pickup. Oh, wow, would you believe it? A really hard swing from Elsa. Thought that would go down. And then Nadine Zumka goes with the gator. And it's... Straight over the net, straight into play. They take the point, and would you believe it? Four nothing up, and Spain called the timeout. Not the start they were expecting. Certainly not the start their coach Danny was expecting for Spain either. For those of you at home supporting Spain, not the start you would have hoped for either. Another chance, Elsa this time. Oh dear, well the timeout hasn't helped. They just need a side out. They're not panicking, there's a smile from Lily as she looks at Elsa. They are relaxed, they're not panicking, they just can't quite find what they need to get the point. That will do though, block out. And they're on the board, they're off and running. Oh, that was a shame. Might hit a bit of the equipment on the post, actually. But I guess it's all part of the post. Stabilizing arm of the net camp. <laughs> Big lot from Heidrich. Billy can hit hard. 
But if she goes into uh, the next block, it's going to come back harder. How much more luck are they going to get? At least Zumka has the uh, grace to put her hands up and apologise. Side out achieved. Required now from serve. Although Spain just being uh, limited to side out points only. So bringing the heat, getting past Lily at the net. Oh, that's a bit too tight. Heidrich is all over that one. She has a massive height advantage over Lily and Elsa. seen that a few times this week the ball seems innocuous enough and then just seems to catch the receiving team out as that one did dropping mid-court this time Elsa plays it well this is a dream start for Switzerland isn't it and it's an absolute nightmare of a first set for Spain 10 points behind this one's over 14-4. We cannot see Switzerland giving up 10 points at this stage already of this set. Although their fragility hasn't been tested really by Spain as we see this one go off the block and out. If Spain do get a couple of points, it'll be interesting to see how Switzerland reacts. Heidrich not quick enough to get to the net after her serve. That left her out of position and exposed. Technical timeout has been reached. Switzerland are dominating.
Bielsa. Watches as Lily puts that one in. First point from Surf for Spain. Now we'll see how Switzerland react. So that's a gift for Switzerland. Not pressure, no pressure being applied after that last point. And they let off the hook too easily. Nadine Simku with the ball. Certainly though, Spain are finding their rhythm now. Some momentum builders now then for Spain. They make double figures. off of Elsa very high up the forearms didn't really get control of it and Lily moving backwards with a wild swing so Switzerland there two away from completing what really is formality this first set but a net touch against Heydrich gives Spain a lifeline albeit the slimmest of slim lifelines Set point for Switzerland. And well, that's it, it's done in style. That first set is over in the blink of an eye for Spain. Heydrich makes the block, they take the opening set 21 11. It's been a rout for Switzerland. Well, confirmation of the score doesn't make great reading if you're a Spanish fan. Liliana and Elsa have some serious work to do ahead of this next set.
Away we go with the second set. Switzerland will be serving. Spain looking for side out. They're looking for a better start than they got in the first set, won't they? An instant side out would certainly be the best thing for them, which they get. So they're off and running. And now this set set up very nicely already. Spain not at all bothered by that first set, really. They've had a few matches like that where they've been beaten in the first and just come back strongly in the second to take the third and with it the match. They'll be hoping for the similar sort of thing here. And that's exactly what they've got, haven't they? 2-0 up, brilliant stuff. Good up. Clever. Using the block to recycle the ball. Oh, that was unlucky, but brilliant for Spain, who have come out firing on all cylinders in this second set. Completely different Spain, isn't it, in this second set? Well, the angle just ran away from Elsa. Not great. Switzerland back to within a point. Well, that was an excellent leave. Heydrich looking long and hard at the baseline, thought it was in, accepts it was out. Yeah. 
Yes, Elsa lost her balance, unfortunately. Was heading towards Lily, couldn't get back to go and chase it. Oh, brilliant play. Round of applause from the fans for that one. And it's topped off with a super block from Joanna Heydrich. And Switzerland have turned it round. Well, the block was the icing on the cake. But what a pickup and recovery. And then up into position. Jumping to take the cross court away. Brilliant play from Joanna Heydrich. Well, that's going to go the way of Switzerland. Well, there was a big net touch from Heydrich. Because Heydrich pushed Lily back. Well, let's have a look again. Watch. Was there a net touch? Interesting. Certainly not at the top, but did she come through and then touch the net? Because you see Heydrich apologizing for the collision under the net. I think more than anything, it wasn't through the net, it was under the net. And it's a yellow card time delay for all of that for Spain. They're not happy. There was a clash of legs, wasn't it, under the net, and uh, that is impeded Elsa Liliana, which is why she's complaining. Very different expressions now from Elsa and Lini. A little bit of determination about their play. Maybe that was the spark they needed to get them going. Just too far away from Nedim Zimke. And so Spain move in front. Spain no need their serves to go in. They need to put pressure on Switzerland, make them play the ball. No free points, no gifts. from the net for Spain. Oh, that's magnificent, but it won't stay inside the antenna. And Spain take the point. touch from Lily, even though the ball was hit out. Spain are in trouble here. Lily runs 
to the uh, dugout to hit the technical timeout. from Lily. She's got a real sense of purpose about her at the moment, hasn't she? That will do nicely for Spain. Not quite the walk in the park Switzerland had in the first set. Spain are definitely back in this match. your money on evens so Spain take this one and go to a decider brilliant oh, that's a shame Another chance for Spain, Elsa will have another swing. Oh, this time she just delivers the heat. Really top-notch swing from Elsa. Driving through the ball. Yeah, 
Magic shown she can hit it hard too. side out game is holding up at the moment and that's the difference that's what's keeping them ahead <laughs> Elsa got out of the way thought well at least knocked her head off also hit the baseline. <laughs> Lovely touch. Oh, what an angle! Zumka turning in the air to find the line, and she's leveled the scores at 17 all. Great up. And look how quickly she's in position to have a swing. Brilliant. Break from Elsa. Yeah, actually, good break from Heydrich as well. But Heydrich has the more power. And more aggression in that play. It's edging one way and then the other, and it's now edged Switzerland's way. Spain call the timeout. Chase is on. Oh, it's just too tight to the net. Couldn't get that ball back up and over. Really hard swing from Spain. And they've drawn level, but now Switzerland siding out to give themselves a match point opportunity. Well, it might not happen. This is going to be a free ball here for Spain. Chance for them to have set point. 
moving moment here for Spain, but they get away with it. They take the point. It's set point Spain. They've done it! Great serve from Elsa. They take the second set. We're heading into a decider to see who'll take gold here in Sochi. What a turnaround by Spain. then with the deciding set here on the women's gold medal match in Sochi and Spain with an error well, that's how they started the opening point of the first set they don't want that to continue Zunka to serve again oh dear trouble big trouble Switzerland 2-0 already Nothing. Well, what does Spain do now? Ride out one more point or call timeout? They're going to ride it out by the looks of it. Well, Elsa's deemed to have touched the net uh, against the block, but Elsa thinks that. It was a net touch by Heydrich. I think it was a net touch from Heydrich as the ball hits her and then she goes in. Well, no, no one did, did they? Ball was down and in fact it was a good call from the referee. Elsa complaining she was impeded again by Heydrich under the net. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, can't quite believe this, can I? I don't think any of you can either, even if you're a Swiss fan or, a, or a, a Spanish fan, or even a neutral for that matter. The way that Spain came out and played in the second set, all guns firing, getting their, tight, their side outs, pressing and working hard. And now, in this deciding set, 4 nothing down in a race to what is 15. Well, they're going to have to get in inside this one out. So objective achieved off the back of the timeout. They have a point, they'll change ends. Heydrich has no trouble at all finding the corner. Nice play, Heydrich watched it, didn't she? Made a great block. Zumka screaming at her to go, 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 go. I think uh, Heydrich's lost an earring. Wow, she did well to find that in the sand. Venom in that one from Elsa. Still four back. They need to start getting points from serve pretty quick. Oh, brilliant! Heidrich thought it was going to go out. The hard work and the perseverance of Spain pays off. Wonderful pick-up, lovely little fist, wasn't it, off the palm of the hand and then just played over deep. In order so they can reset, and Heydrich makes the error. Switzerland, though, get back on track. There is still time for Spain if they can keep scoring one from every time they side out. That will make things very interesting. <laughs> and the important thing is they keep siding out. holds the ground oh brilliantly played by Switzerland Zumka shooting that into the corner shooting her in Heydrich ever closer to the gold medal here in Sochi
Chase is on for Zumka. Oh, brilliant. Spain at full stretch, get it back over. Switzerland also at full stretch. Make sure it doesn't come back. Spain aren't giving up just yet. And it's certainly not done and dusted yet for Switzerland either. <laughs> Although it might be now, might it? Switzerland three away from victory. A serve from Joanna Heydrich. What a time to get that. And a massive block to follow it up from Joanna Heydrich. And it's now match point for Switzerland. Now she's been the star of the show, Joanna Heydrich, the 24-year-old, has bossed it. Elsa de Keep. Spain in the match. And she's done that. But how long can they keep doing it for? Match point number two now for Switzerland. And that's it, it's all over. Zumka hammers it down. Switzerland take gold here in Sochi. Heartache for Spain as they fall short once again in the gold medal match. But you can't take it away from Switzerland. They fought hard and they deserve their victory. This is how it was done. Nadine Zumka down the middle. Put Switzerland on top of the world. Confirmation of the score 21 11, 19 21, 15 17. What a victory! Really well played, and they will be uh, very happy to have a chat to. Uh, Tim Simmons, the FIVB press delegate, who's down waiting as Elsa signs the score Congratulations. sheet. Congratulations. I won't talk about the second set, but you started very fast in the first and third set. What was the big reason? Yeah, I think our coach prepared the best tactic ever. Um, we followed it well. We had good short serves, and this worked well. I think they were a little surprised and couldn't handle it that well. And I think that was the key to win the first and the third set because after the advantage we had, after some, point, some points, in, we've been some points in advance, um, it, it was easier to play side out. We didn't have that pressure. That was the key, I think. Joanne, you are the hottest team in the world. You won 20 out of your last 25 matches. What's the reason? <laughs> I don't know. I think we play like with a lot of fun. And we have, um, I don't know, I really like to play beach football. That, that is a really big point in our team now. And I'm so happy I'm on the wins. <laughs> You're coming up very big during the Olympic process. 13 wins in your last 14 matches. You've gained a lot of points for the Olympics. Yeah, but right now, uh, the points for the Olympics really doesn't matter. We are looking forward to hear, hear the Swiss anthem now because after the quarterfinal, we said let's play two games to get a medal here without thinking about any Olympic points because there are enough games where we are thinking about it. And yeah, that we made it to gold was it's just amazing and really really grateful
Congratulations, ladies. Thank you. Congratulations indeed. A well-deserved win for Zumka and Heydrich. Here are the highlights. Well, that concludes our coverage from the women's gold medal match. We hope you've enjoyed the volleyball. We do have one more game to come from the men's event. We hope you can join us for that. But until then, from all of us here in Sochi, goodbye.